Battle of Yavin, rebel terrorists, aided by spies and traitors within the Empire, struck a cowardly blow to the new symbol of Imperial power, the Death Star. Darth Vader brought swift justice to the rebels by destroying their main base on Hoth. Remnants of the Alliance had scattered to the Outer Rim. The villains are unprepared for our attack. Signal Vice Admiral Thrawn to launch his tie squadrons immediately. Here, the Emperor called upon the Imperial Navy to eradicate the rebellion and restore law and order to the galaxy. This rebel stronghold has no hope of escape. Commence the attack. Yes, sir. Star Wars TIE Fighter was a sequel to Star Wars X-Wing and the first Star Wars video game set on the side of the Galactic Empire. Moments after the Battle of Hoth, the player assumed the role of a rookie TIE pilot named Marek Steel. Since its viewpoint was completely different than previous games, the Empire was portrayed as a force for peace and order, while the Rebel Alliance was a cause of anarchy and chaos. During its gameplay, players would feel the pressure of Palpatine and Darth Vader and were scared to disappoint them. What is the location of your fleet? <laughs> now you shall pay for your treachery. An obvious improvement was the rendering engine, which supported a new shading technology to make curves of low polygon objects appear more realistic. Also, the engine was significantly improved to support greater numbers of craft on screen with even more detail than X-Wing had. With loads of improvements in gameplay, TIE Fighter was a big step up from the first game. It had better AI, missions were more complex and a 3D HUD made sure players could always see the target's relative orientation in real time. This allowed players to avoid dangerous head-on confrontations and to specifically target individual components such as weapon batteries. It made the dogfights more epic and strategic. Like X-Wing, TIE Fighter was also re-released a year later in an enhanced version including the original release plus all expansions. TIE Fighter had a major retouch for its release along with the X-Wing Collector Series in 98 and X-Wing Trilogy one year later. The game was retrofitted with a Star Wars X-Wing vs TIE Fighter graphics engine to upgrade graphics and experiences. To this day, this version is still playable. <laughs> Thus is the fate of enemies of the Empire.